Taylor Fair outside right now at our DHR camera in Edinburgh. It is a muggy night out there, but clear skies is still at this hour, 81 degrees at this time. But we're looking at temperatures again, still on the warm side all across the valley. 84 out in Roma. How about the 82 in La Jolla? 80 in Harlingen and Lightford and Raymondville. 81 there in Brownsville. The next few hours, though, we are going to be dropping into the 70s, becoming partly cloudy overnight tonight, though. I think our bottom out mark is about 77 degrees. Uh, for we with southeast winds about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Let's take a look at future casts. And again, we are going to start the day with some partly cloudy skies on Sunday, though by the afternoon. We are going to be looking at the return of some showers and storms uh, by the afternoon hours. And some of these could provide some heavier downpours. Uh, so we'll be watching that throughout the afternoon into the evening hours before things quiet down overnight. Now, in terms of tomorrow, hour by hour, you get into those showers chances starting around noontime. And that uh, does keep the temperatures in check by the afternoon. Maybe it drops us down to be even 91 there uh, by, by 3, 3 o'clock hour. But uh, still going to be a warm day across the valley. Not uh, Normal in terms of temperatures, 95 is normal, but still 93. That's still nothing to play around with, especially with those feels like temperatures, 100 to 105 across the valley. Even the upper valley seeing 97 uh, degrees for that high temperature. Now, again, in terms of those feels like temperatures, still will be in the triple digits tomorrow. Uh, so we do want to watch for the heat. And if you're still looking to cool off, go to the island. It's not going to be a washout of a day. We still got 20% chance of showers there, uh, but I still think you'll please see plenty of sunshine. 87 degrees, low root current risk with those two to four foot uh, swells out there. Now, Monday showers and storms become a little bit more widespread, so we'll be watching that uh, pretty much throughout the rest of the week. Let's take a look at future casts. You can see those showers and storms already by the morning hours and continuing to push in uh, round after round uh, throughout the, the day there. So do look for some heavier downpours starting on Monday and just increasing as we get in towards Tuesday as well. Up to 70% chance of showers and pretty much the rest of the week, 40, 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms every single day. Uh, as the week goes on and we're going to be seeing this because a area of upper level low pressure just kind of kind of sit overhead of us and just bring round after round after round of rain and shower activity expected over the next several days. So do want to watch that and obviously as we get further along we could see some areas of street flooding uh, later on in the week. Now let's talk a little bit of tropics here. We got two areas that we're watching out there at this time. One coming off Africa. This is at a 30% chance of development as it works its way across the Atlantic. And now here's the latest spaghetti model spread. You see it uh, really keeps it together until we get in towards the Lesser Antilles Islands. And then they kind of spread out. But the general consensus now is this turning up to the north and away from the, the Gulf. That's good news for us. Now, the other one we're watching is uh, off of uh, Florida there. Only a 10% chance of development over the next uh, five days here, though it is in an area of more favorable environment. So we will watch that. Now, there is nothing closer to home here, but we are still in a favorable environment uh, for some storm activity. And again, that's going to help us uh, in terms of our local storm activities this week. So again, watching that, again, bringing us those showers and storms. And again, keeping temperatures in check as well as we are going to be looking at it. Again, 80s as we get in towards the middle of the week. But again, 95 is normal. So these are below normal temperatures uh, for this time of year.